We'll be doing the shift cable adjustment for the alpha drives. First thing we do is remove the shift cables from the shift plate. We then push in on the lower shift cable to put the drive into forward. We rotate the propeller anti-clockwise to fully engage the dogs. If we don't do that, they will be partially engaged. Our adjustments will be invalid. Uh, we usually use a second person to hold that propeller locked. Uh, I haven't done that, I've chopped the, uh, the propeller. First thing we want to do is check to make sure there's not an excess amount of, of slop or play in the, in the shift cable or any of the shift mechanisms in the drive. The specification for the maximum amount of movement on the cable is 9 sixteenths of an inch or 14 millimetres and we check that by pushing all the way in on the cable in forward gear, marking the cable like that and then we pull out on the cable to check for movement. Don't pull too hard or you will pull it out of gear just take the movement out. We then measure that and that's showing three-eighths of an inch on this particular drive and shift mechanism, about 10 millimetres, so we're within specifications. So once we know that there's no excess play in the, the drive and the shifting mechanism, we can go ahead and, and adjust this drive. There's only one adjustment on the lower shift cable, that is the distance between the centre of the brass barrel and the centre of the hole on the end of the plastic slide. On the newer style cables, the barrel is actually pinned to the cable is not adjustable. So we have what we have. On the earlier cables that barrel is on a thread and it's adjustable and we adjust that for exactly six inches from the center of the barrel in forward gear pushing in on the cable to the center of the hole here exactly six inches. This is for drives from 1976 up previous to 1976 that adjustment is five and seven eighths of an inch. Once that's adjusted to six inches, that is it. That is the only adjustment on the lower shift cable, and that stays there. We don't uh, we don't change that at all. Once that six inches is adjusted, we put it onto the shift plate. The rear anchor pin for the lower shift cable is on a slot. Now we start with this with the pin in the lowest position on the slot. If we need to, we can loosen that pin but just with a um, 7 16 spanner down to the bottom. When we're in forward gear, that slot is vertical. So moving the pin will make no difference to the position of the cable and the position of the shift lever in forward gear. Once we get to reverse, back here, the slot's at an angle. So moving that pin will actually increase the amount of travel on the lower shift cable. So if we have a problem selecting reverse gear, if there's a bit of wear in the control cables, we can increase the amount of travel just with the movement of the pin on the slot. You've got to be a little bit careful, don't go too far, because if you activate the shift cutout switch, then obviously your engine's going to stall. So we start with it in the lowest position, place it there and that's it. Now the other cable is the remote control shift cable and we need a movement of three inches plus or minus one eighth of an inch. So we're in forward gear here. We again mark the cable like that. We then select reverse gear and measure from our mark to the end of the cable here and we have three and one eighth inch which is exactly within specifications. So we'll go back to forward gear and we'll make the adjustment. So we're back in forward gear and we're ready to put this cable onto the shift plate. What we do is we adjust the, the plastic barrel. Some of the older cables have got a brass barrel. 
we adjust that so that it will go on exactly correctly so the distance is exactly right so we check that and that's the correct distance once we've got that correct distance we adjust the barrel four turns this one here four turns away from the cable one two three four and that is the final adjustment for the cable we then put this all together and we would then run the engine and check that we're getting the correct forward and reverse engagement if we're not getting enough engagement in reverse we can then start adjusting the rear anchor pin once we get the correct um, engagement in reverse gear put all the split pins or nuts depending on which particular era your shift plate is and that is the job complete